Hi everyone, and welcome to Easy Tutorial Vids. In this video, I'll show you how to route contact instruments to separate mixer tracks. Let me first explain the different contact version that you'll find in the plugins list after you install it. The only difference between these versions is the amount of outputs you get. The standard version gives you 64 outputs. The 16 out version gives you 16 outputs. And the 8 out version gives you 8 outputs. Some digital audio workstations like Cubase for example, used to automatically add output channels with each sample or plugin. So when you loaded the standard contact plugin, you'd get a bunch of output which you manually had to disable so your mixer didn't get cluttered. So that's why Native Instruments also delivered contact with a 16 and 8 output version. Now for FL Studio this doesn't really matter because you'll always see all the outputs anyway. That said, you may want to use the 16 output version, which enables you to load 8 instruments per instance. This because each instrument uses two output channels, one for the left speaker and one for the right speaker. Let's change context default output settings. Delete the surround sound output setting. Now let's add a channel. In this dialog, we'll add 6 more output channels. As you can see, the host outputs names are still set to context previous default settings. This will change as soon as we restart FL Studio with the new settings. Select Make this your default configuration, if you want to make this your new default. But we won't be able to route our instruments to separate tracks just yet, as the previous routing default is still active, as you can see in both here in the channel settings and here in FL Studio's plugins wrapper routing settings. To activate the new settings, you'll have to restart FL Studio. After restarting FL Studio, we can now route each output properly in contact. I'll select Not Connected for the auxes. After doing this, we can save the current output section state as default for all contact plugin versions or just the ones you're using. Now we have 8 mixer tracks ready to be routed and 4 auxes that we can use as send tracks. In FL Studio's plugin wrapper settings, we can now see the new default settings as well. I've gone ahead and loaded a few instruments. As you can see, they're all routed to one output channel. Each time you load a new instrument, route it through this menu or this badge option to automatically route all the instruments to individual channels. And every time you add a new instrument, just use the badge options again to create an output channel for it. Now keep in mind that when you're using this badge option, you'll lose any effect you've used within contact. A workaround for this is to use the aux outputs for effects. These loaded effects will stay when using the batch options. Now we're ready to properly route contact to FL Studio's mixer. In the plugins wrapper options, go to the processing tab. Auto map or manually map the output. Now route contact to any mixer track. Now the instruments are routed relatively to contact's mixer track number for further processing with your own plugins in FL Studio. Now let me briefly show you how to use contacts aux channels. To use them correctly, you'll have to route them to their own outputs. Since I'm using only 4 instruments now, I've got a few outputs left. So let's route the first 2 aux channels. Now let's add some effects. Double click on them to show or hide the parameters of the effects. We can turn the aux sense on here. With these sliders, I can now determine how much these aux sense sends their effects to their respective instruments. Now, not all multi output VSDs give you the option to assign CC numbers within the VSD, like Contact does. In the next video, 
I'll show you how to link one of those VSDs. Thank <laughs> you.